Hello, boys and girls, and thank you for joining us today for Blossoming Storytime. We're so excited to introduce our special guest to you really soon, but my name is Miss Magnolia, but you can call me Miss Nolia. So today, boys and girls, our special guest will be sharing a story entitled Bossy Boots. Now, when you hear that title, boys and girls, what do you think the story will be about? Bossy Boots. And what characters will be in the story? So we're going to find out really soon. And I'm so excited for us to hear the story and to meet our special guest. So he'll be sending us a request to join us in just a moment, and we'll bring him on. We're so excited. So I want you to begin to think about the questions that you may have in your mind about what the story will be about. And here he comes now. Let's get him in. Oh, wow. Here he comes. Hi, Lee. Hello. Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. Lenny, we're so excited to have you with us today, boys and girls. This is Lenny, and he is a budding reader. He loves to read, and he's going to share a story with us today. Can you say hello to the boys and girls again, Lenny? Hello. Oh, awesome. Okay, can we see the book that you're going to be reading for us today? The book we're reading today is Bossy Boots by Lisa Charlton. Awesome, let's see. Okay, so when you're ready, you can go ahead and read for us and make sure you're reading out loud and clear so the boys and girls can hear, okay? Okay. One, two, meet the bossy boots. Play our game. They said, okay, said she. Wow. Okay. Watch our show, they said. Okay, said the shoe. Read our book. They said. Okay, said the shoes, but the shoes got mad. The boots were too icy, so they ran away. Let's see the let's see the pictures again. Hold it up so we can see. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Boo, said the bossy boots. The shoes will not play with us. The boots were to shoot the shoe. Can we? Sorry, we're too bossy, they said. Can we play? Okay, hold the, uh, hold the book up again for us, Lenny, and you gotta hold the book still so we can see the pictures. Awesome, okay. You're doing a great job. Who, okay, said the shoes. Hooray! Awesome, good job, Lenny. Boys and girls, can you give Lenny a big hand? Good job. So let's talk about the book a little bit. Boys and girls, let's see. The book was about, who were the characters? It was the boots and the what? Shoes. Good, the boots and the shoes. Now, did the shoes like playing with the boots? Did the shoes like playing with the boots, Penny? No, because the boots were being too bossy when they said, when the boots said to read their book. 
Oh, that's good. So uh, Shoes did not like playing with Boots because Boots was being too bossy. So what did Shoes do when he decided he didn't want to play with Boots anymore? They ran away. They ran away. The Shoes ran away. And how did Boots feel when Shoes ran away? Sad. He was sad. The, the Boots were sad. That's right. So what did Boots decide to do? How did Boots make it better with Shoes? They were going back to see the shoes and say sorry for being too bossy. That's so good. The Boots went back to see the shoes and said, I'm sorry for being too bossy. And once that happened, how did the shoes feel then? Happy. Happy. So they were friends again, right? And they played. So what that says to me, boys and girls, are you listening to how Lenny is answering these questions? I'm sure you knew the answers to these questions too, boys and girls, because you were being good listeners. But what this story teaches us today is that we need to make sure that we're being polite and nice to our friends when we're playing with them. We don't want to be like bossy boots and be mean or our, our friends may run away and decide they don't want to play with us. So that's a good job. Lenny, we thank you again for sharing this story with us and we look forward to seeing you another time. Would you like to read for us again another time, Lenny? Yes. Yes, awesome. We would love to have you. Boys and girls, let's say bye to Lenny and thank him again. Bye-bye, Lenny. Bye. Thank you bye, so everybody. much. See you next time. Okay. <laughs> that was a great story, Bossy Boots. I love that. And uh, Lenny, boys and girls, I believe he's uh, seven years old. Uh, if I'm not correct, can you type in his correct uh, age if you're watching, uh, Mommy? Uh, but I believe Lenny is seven, if I'm not mistaken. And he is an actual, he actually reads very well. So what I would like to do next is share another story that I was able to get my hands on uh, that I think go uh, along with Lenny's story very well today. His story was Bossy Boots. And the story that I would like to share with you today is, who is a friend? Okay, um, let's see. This story is, Who is a Friend? by Lisa Trombar. And this is the cover. So I'm gonna ask you again, boys and girls, what do you think this story is about. Who is a friend? It kind of lets you know from the cover. It's definitely about a friend or being a friend, right? Okay. Who is a friend? Who is a friend? A friend is someone you like. A friend is someone who likes you too. You play with friends. Can you see the pictures, boys and girls? Friends playing together. You talk with friends. You laugh with friends. Friends are happy when you do your best. Friends want you to be the best you can be. Friends cheer you up when you are sad. They make you smile. Friends help you learn new things. Friends can help you learn to read. Friends can help you learn to skate. Isn't that awesome? Friends can help you learn to do things that are new, right?
friends look different. Some are short, some are tall. Some are old, some are young. Friends like to do different things. She likes to play ball. He likes to color. Look at this picture right here. A parent can be a friend. A grandparent can be a friend. A little brother can be a friend. And here she is, she likes to throw the ball and he likes to color. Friends do not always like the same things. Friends just like to be together. It is fun to do things with your friends. You can have fun at a birthday party. How many of you love to go to a birthday party? Birthday parties are lots of fun. Can you see here they're celebrating the birthday party? Some friends are best friends. They share many things, even secrets. Friends can have different friends. Do you know that you can have more than one friend? You can have lots of friends. Here's a friend sharing a secret with another friend. You think about that, what's a secret? It's something that you, you want someone to not tell someone else. And look at them having fun here. Friends do not always get along. Unfortunately, that's true. Um, just as we saw in the story that Lenny was reading, the bossy boots wasn't getting along with the shoes because he was being too bossy. He was telling him what to do during playtime. But then at the end of the story, he apologized and he asked him politely, can we play? And the shoes said, yes. So friends do not always get along, but friends do make up. And that's exactly what happened between Bossy Boots and the shoes. Once he apologized, once the boots apologized to the shoes, they made up and decided they wanted to be friends again. So here in this story, it says friends do not always get along, but friends make up. This is what friends do. Friends make up. They don't stay mad or upset or angry at each other. They forgive. That means they accept the apology. They accept the I'm sorry, and they move on. Friends make up, and they be friends. They stay friends. They remain friends. A friend is someone you like. A friend is someone who likes you too. Tell your friends that you like them. And we see here that they're walking away together. Friends, having a friend is very important. So who is a friend, boys and girls? We found out all of the different things about how to be a friend. You can share with a friend. You can like the same things. You don't have to like the same things. Your friends can look different. Um, your friends can be young. They can be old. Uh, we found out so many things about friends in this story. You learn how to do new things with friends. Um, of course, only friends go to a birthday party, right? So we found out a lot of good things. Friends like to be together. They like to have fun. And even when they don't get along, they apologize and they're friends again. So I like the two stories that we had today. Thank you again to our special guest, Lenny, for sharing Bossy Boots and Who is a Friend. So we'll see you again next time on Blossoming Storytime. Boys and girls, have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.